Thank you. Okay. Well, with that applause, are there any questions? <laughs> you know, you have to ask yourself, where is our military leadership on all of these social engineering issues? They're violating their oath of office. There's no question about it. However, they've been silenced by the political correctness Gestapo watchdogs. And it's really, uh, it really distresses me to see that because I believe no president could withstand the entire Joint Chiefs of Staff standing up and said, we're not doing that, and if you go ahead, here's our papers. It wouldn't happen. But, you know, as a number of you heard me uh, say before, we've had many opportunities to change the course of history. And it hasn't mattered whether it's been a Republican or Democratic administration, we failed every one of them, starting with Carter. You know, we all say we have to identify the threat. Well, I think the one who identified it the best was Erdogan from Turkey when he said, Islam is Islam. Democracy is the train we ride to our ultimate objective. He couldn't have said it any plainer. And until you recognize that Islam is a political movement masquerading as a religion, you're never going to come to grips with it. Now, there's no question, we got a hell of a job ahead of us. With the Muslim Brotherhood penetration in every one of our national security agencies, including all our intelligence agencies, and as been reported by some, our lead intelligence agency headed by a Muslim convert, this is not going to be an easy task. I've known John Lehman for many years. While he was at Cambridge, he spent many hours at the Tickle Arms over a pint discussing the issues of the day. It was there that he learned to hone his debating skills. Sometimes he was asked, why didn't you go to Oxford? And he would reply, I was rejected <laughs> when they found out my mother and father were married. I got to share with you an experience I had on the plane the other day. It was packed, took off an hour late as usual. We finally leveled off, and all of a sudden, the guy sitting next to the window yells out, Admiral, United States Navy, retired, married, two sons, surgeons. And before I could say anything, the guy in the aisle seat yells out, Admiral, United States Coast Guard, retired, married, two sons, both judges. I said, what's going on here? And then the guy in the middle seat yells out, Gunny Sergeant, United States Marine Corps, Retired, never married, two sons, both admirals. <laughs> <laughs>